So it was just npm start, right? Or yep, that's the one. Okay. And then we can kind of slip over. Yep. And then I can actually open up another terminal here that we can do for just you know anything else we might need to do like packages or whatnot. Sounds great. Cool. All right. Cool. So so everything else in this pipeline is should pretty much. I mean, you can delete the lo the logo SVG because we're not going to use the React logo in our app. Um, and then if you look in public, so in here is, uh, you can see there's the index HTML there. And, uh, this is the, the, well, it's the HTML that's going to get pumped out as part of our, part of our app. Um, and so in this public folder is where you would put, uh, you know different static files uh, you might you might consider putting images uh, you can see the fave ICO is is put in this public folder um, but it's it's generally a place to house uh, yeah, static files but you generally won't put a lot of things in here and the reason being is that webpack actually can can uh, bundle up your images and everything um, and, and a lot of your, your static files altogether so um, you, you you might not uh, you might not consider using this public folder. Yeah, um, I was curious why the SVG was in source and not public. Mm, mm, well, yeah, that, that, there's your reason is because you can you can wrap it all up in uh, Webpack. As far as uh, as far as I know from the little documentation I've read on that, uh, they basically say you know just just put things in in with all the source. Um, but I think that fav ICO is basically just there to serve as a uh, like an example of how you could do it, you know, rather than rather than being a best practice thing. Do you think it makes sense uh, that kind of like if I wanted to give you my module, I could kind of just give you my source, and now that that uh, SVG is kind of associated with my files, so it's got that a little closer coupling. Uh, yeah, I guess you could say that. That would be that would be true. Um, I mean, the thing is, is that the apps that you're building with all this is is generally going to be an app in and of itself, so you would probably be more thinking about pulling down github repos and stuff like that i i can't imagine well i'm not saying that it's impossible to do i'm just saying that i, I don't i can't think of a good example for why you would like put this up on npm for example right. um so so yeah um so so that's the static files right the the thing that might interest you here uh in terms of learning react is see how you've got that div there with the id root Yep. Yeah, so then head into index.js. Right, so this is the entry point for the application. Uh, and you can see there that we're using reactdom.render. Uh, now, reactdom.render is the thing that actually sort of says, okay, uh, you know, render my app onto in, into the virtual DOM, which then, you know, does all the diffing and uh, all the rest of it and, and, and then renders it into the, into the, the browser DOM. Now uh, you can see there that the render takes uh, two uh, parameters. The first being a, a React element, and or a, a React class actually, so rather than a React element, um, they're 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 subtly different, and I won't go into why right now. But in any case, it takes a React class, and then the second uh, parameter is a a DOM node, which is just saying render my application here so you can see there we're grabbing the root and so that will grab the the index html root and and render app into into that so that's how all that hangs together as, as it stands cool um that's how our hello world is working so uh we're ready to start building our our actual application now um so i think what might be a good place to start is uh have a look at our our contract um what what data we're actually going to be working with in order to be able to build our app because then we can sort of meld that data into the app that we're going to build okay so so let's head over to um the marvel uh developer site for which i will i think if you just type in marvel developer into google you should find it there you go marvel right. developer portal cool 
so in here, uh, you'll need a, a um, an account, and then you it will give you a, a key that you can use. But the more uh, pressing thing is that API documentation because that uh, they've got this like live documentation where you can actually make calls. Oh, well, there you go. The test calls there is actually I've just pointed you to the wrong part. But okay. yeah, so so you'll need to sign up here. Uh, All right, guess, so uh, get a key seems like a way to get, do that, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right. Sign in with Facebook. <laughs> cool. So there we go. All right, so we want to do go ahead and, uh, well, first of all, let's just click on the get a key. All let's right. Let's make sure that we're logged in and everything and. This I'm going to give me a few you. minutes to, to read. <laughs> yeah, so let's read this word for word. Um, what, what I did find out about this, which actually might be interesting to anyone who's going to build or potentially wants to build an app with this uh, later, because uh, I was actually going to build this as part of a, um, a training course that was going to be released. Uh, but there's a whole heap of things in this that say you're not allowed to... Um, Basically, you're not allowed to make money off anything that you that you build with with this uh, API. Uh, Marvel forbids it. So, uh, yeah, if anyone's going to build an app with this, make sure you don't try and monetize it. All right. But yeah. Well, we're gonna have to blur this on the video. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the screen helpfully jittered as well, so it's going to be a, a real pain to uh, yep. get that to work. Okay, cool. So um, what you will need to do is uh, add uh, yourself as a referrer there as well. So it might even be worth just maybe, uh, I don't know whether you want to uh, just do a, <laughs> do a star wipe or something so that you don't, so you don't see all this part because you're going to have to put your IP address in there and stuff. Oh, that's um, fine. That was actually broken just a couple of weeks ago, which was really annoying. Uh, the, the JavaScript was broken jQuery just went away on that page. <laughs> I got a plugin for injecting jQuery. I actually started hacking around with it in the console, and uh, you'll need to leave the developer one in there. Oh. So yeah, so just yeah, hit. hit uh, that's it. That's the one. Okay. Yeah. So the 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 JavaScript that that runs adding that that input box was actually broken the other day. And, oh, it was a nightmare. Anyway, so <laughs> there's a there's a submit thing down the bottom. Okay. Do I need to copy these out or? Uh, not right now. I just wanted to make sure that that was there and that they were actually working. Because if they were still broken, then that was uh, going to stop the video <laughs> in its tracks. Yeah. Um, so right. interactive documentation is where we want to head. So the first line there was the developer.marvel.com, and leaving that in allows you to then use these interactive APIs. So you can actually, uh, you know, do gets on uh, through this page. Um, so what we should do is go ahead and go into the public comics uh, one there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, cool. And then we're going to read this real quick and work out how we're going to uh, just grab a short list of comics. I think down the bottom there is a submit, uh, like down the bottom of this section, there should be like a submit button. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, cool. Cool. So there's a whole heap of things we can send in. Um, I think maybe if you just uh, use maybe title and just put in like Deadpool. Cool. All right. and, and then uh, yeah, I mean that that should do. Let, let's just go ahead and hit run on that, and it should it should uh, limit our limit the number of uh, things that it returns to. Well, it looks like a hundred there. Okay. Limit this is really sharp. Set. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, I I really like those um, the things where you can use the APIs. There's a quite a number of them these days. Yeah, so there wow. you go. So there's, so there is the um, the the thing that's going to get returned there. So if we scroll down just a little bit on what we've got returned, so I guess it's up to us what information here is going to be relevant. I think what we should do first of all is try and find the ID um, of the actual. Like, because this is obviously a list of comics. Let's try and find the ID for one comic so that we can actually uh, do a 
there you go okay so then we can uh request there's another um endpoint which i think was after this one where you can enter in that id um, it might be nice to see just one um comic book okay so we can be yeah just so we can be a bit clearer on what we're actually going to be bringing back cool so it looks like it's got a data key um if you scroll up a little bit there so yeah data looks like where we're actually needing to go because you can see the ids just below in the results there so we need to go data results and then there's the actual information from there so we've got a title let's have a look at what else we've got here so go ahead and uh copy we'll, we'll just copy paste this and we'll we'll chuck it into um hmm We'll put it in app for now. Uh, so app.js. And outside of the class, let's define a uh, the object. So, and with ES6, ES6 syntax, you don't use var anymore. So we're gonna use const. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, we'll call it data or yeah, sample, whatever you wanna call it. It doesn't really matter. And then we want that object. 